episode number five of the Ultimate CAD Chair. Last time we left off, we had a chassis made out of 2x4s. This episode, we're going to get the real chassis back from our manufacturer. To make sure we all get it right, we're going to create some animated assembly instructions. But first, we need to design a routed system for the chair, the wiring, inside SOLIDWORKS. Let's go to work. All right, so like a lot of projects, we've waited until the very end to do our electrical wiring. That's not always ideal. But in SOLIDWORKS, there are some ways to make routing quick and painless. The first thing we need to do is decide where to put the main power supply. Below the floor is a good place, so we'll start there. We need to get the power to the switches. You'll see we have the military grade switches you guys voted for, those look cool. Now, when you have multiple switches, you need multiple wires. That means a fatter harness. So now, I'll keep that on the outside of the design, but down the line, we can bury these wires within our assembly so nobody has to look at them. The wires also need to provide power to the gantry, so we'll extend our cables up here around the arm. Because we're under a time crunch, we're going to order prefabricated wiring harnesses for this project to make sure we get exactly what we need. I'm going to create an instant pin board layout here. Works perfect. From this drawing, we can generate a bill of materials, order our harness, and be set to bring juice to all the systems. All right, that completes the design phase. All we have to do now is create instructions for the manufacturer who's building our chassis. As you guys know, it's always a good idea to cover your butt whenever possible. I've asked my friend Cliff from 3D Via to join me, so if I screw anything up, he can take some of the blame. Hey, Cliff. Thanks for that, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, glad to help anytime. <laughs> so here's the deal. I have a company down in Philadelphia called uh, Macron Dynamics. They make unbelievable gantry systems. All right, I've shipped them a metal floor for this gantry to sit on top of. Yeah, sounds like you're in good hands. I am, uh, but I'm a little worried about the assembly procedure, and uh, I want to make sure they get it right. So what I want to do is ship them the instructions on how to assemble the floor so they don't have to waste any time. They can focus on the gantry. Uh, but you know engineers don't ever read instructions, so that's, true. that's why you've asked me here. Huh? <laughs> you got it. So what I want to do is animate these instructions for these guys in 3D. Not a problem. I can make the most boring instructions easy to communicate in 3D. Sounds good. Software's already up. Let's get to work. All right. So we'll begin here in 3D via Composer with your SOLIDWORKS CAD data, starting with the floor. We're not going to recreate anything here, just repurpose it and animate it. So there's our positioning brackets and our floor joists. The laser cut panels are gonna go on top. It's crucial that all those pieces line up correctly. And since this is your CAD data, the animation is 100% accurate and contains every little detail in the assembly. Jeremy, you can sleep easy tonight. All right, so what we're going to do next is demonstrate your rivet placement. As you see here, I dynamically linked directly to the manufacturer's product details on their website so you can be sure the right materials are used and used correctly. If you were ever to mass produce this thing, Composer could help you create great looking documentations or animations for service and maintenance, some nice looking marketing pieces, hey, maybe even a video. I am up against the clock here. Just give me the elevator pitch. All right, where's the elevator? So here it is. 3D Via Composer allows you to clearly communicate your product details using your existing CAD data. That's it? That's awesome. Hey man, thanks for making me look good with these cool animations. Oh, this stuff is easy. You've got the hard job. Well, we're almost there. Larry and the guys from Macron Dynamics have delivered our gantry. Wow, this thing is impressive. Let's take a closer look. So let's start with the floor. And if I take off one of these pieces, you'll see what's going on underneath. Basically, we've got steel subframe. The aluminum piece is laser cut. All we have to do is press in some industrial rivets into these guys, and it holds it down. Easy to assemble, easy to disassemble. And each one of the panels comes with an access for wiring. So if you look down in here, that allows us to quickly disconnect the LED lights that we're gonna have on the floor. Back here, our triple monitor setup. We've got these mounts, great design, off the shelf, fit on the gantry perfectly. All right, here's the chair in progress. The fiberglass back looks awesome. It's got this radical surfaced shape. The cushion still needs some work, but it's getting there. All right, let me describe some of the metal pieces of the chair. You've got aluminum armrests. They were water jet uh, cut 
and they fit perfect. They look really modern and they're gonna allow us to recess the controls perfectly. There's a, a rolled piece of stainless steel here to get our profile and then that's also connected to this, this steel swing arm connected upwards to the gantry. Now my team has a bet that this thing is gonna crash and burn. Well, I think it's time to get paid. This thing floats. So here is the key piece, the gantry. And the way it works basically are some left-right motions, like an X-Y axis. And then you've got an up-down motion, or your Z-axis. You can also put a motor at the very end to twist the chair around. It's our key piece. We designed it right with simulation. And that's a good thing, because we only had to pay for one of them. As you can see, we have a waterfall with a minor drip issue. These things are expensive to buy, so we decided to build one ourselves. We've got a leak. When it's done, it's gonna be really, really cool. A lot cooler than this umbrella. Next time, you'll see our fabricated Ultimate CAD chair with the walls, the lights, the 3D Connexion device all wired up, and our other components. But to give you a preview, our buddy Cliff created this virtual experience of the chair with 3D via scenes. Check it out. wraps up this episode. There's one vote left for our grand finale. Now, we don't want a regular phone in this thing, so what sort of voice communication system would you want? An aircraft style headset or a hands-free voice activated mic? Get your votes in. Now I think it's time to take this thing for a test spin. This is Cat Dog requesting a flyby.